Julie Wilson and welcome to Crafting My Style. We are going to be doing a very summery floral card for today's video offering. The products we'll be using include the Delightful Sentiments, a clear stamp set, the Apple Blossom from our Finishing Touches range, and the Portuguese background dye. I think I'll start with the background and we'll do a little bit of uh, cutting. So I've got a piece of coconut white card and the Portuguese dye comes in several different pieces. So I'm going to use the outer uh, most dye on this to begin with and tape it into place. And I want to center it and have a very even border all the way around that. There we go. Put that onto my cutting plate, cover it with my base plate, run it through the uh, caliber. There we go. Check to see what we've cut it all. That looks nice. And let me just remove some of the bits here. Take our tape off. Get some of those out of there. There we go. Pop that into place and we can tap some of those out. Now, I'm going to use this on top of a piece of blue card and I'm not even going to fuss about with these at the moment. We're going to cut it together and then we can put it all together into one piece. So I'm just going to use a little bit of double sided tape to hold it into place exactly where I want it. Center that so it's a nice even frame all the way around. There we go. And go back to my Portuguese dye and take out the next cutting edge. And this will cut a really pretty clean frame right into the middle of both of those. Get that nice and centered. Tape on both sides. And let's pop it back into our cutting sandwich. Okay, undo and take our tape off. So now you have two centerpieces that you can use on another project. We won't be using it on this card, but you can certainly use these at a later time. And you have a perfectly cut frame that you can glue together now and have nice even frame all the way around it by doing it that way. I do have one that I've done earlier, so I will bring that out we'll use it. And to do the um, background for this card, I've stamped my sentiment in just some uh, black archival ink. And I'm going to be using the Daisy Silhouette Mask, uh, which is one of the that special touch masks. Now, I'm going to just line this up so that it's, you can see the sentiment through it. And the largest flower is just a little bit above that. And I'm going to use a little bit of tape to hold it into place where I want it. Okay, in fact. There we go. Bring around my embossing sandwich. So let's do it this way. Pop this upside down. Put the tan mat on top. Pink plate. Give it a run through. Now because the um, mask is a six by six, you do need to work within the constraints of the sizes because you will get an edge there. But the frame that we've created earlier will cover that, so I'm not worried about it. But you can see you've got some real pretty embossing coming up. And it just kind of adds a little extra detail to your background. So the next thing I'm going to do is create some clouds on this. I've just hand cut out of a piece of white card just some scallopy edges all the way around. You can see I've used this several times. I keep it handy. Bringing in my Stormy Sky Distress ink and a smoothie. And I just want to make sure I don't get this too heavy, but I get some ink on here. And I'm just literally going to start inking around this mask, picking it up and moving it each time. Just bringing a little bit more ink 
across it and you'll start to build up what looks like clouds in your background. You can use the bottom side of this. Just move it. A little bit of ink each time. I got a little bit right there from my finger, so let's see if we can cover that. There we go. And you don't have to re-ink every time. It just depends on how heavy you want your clouds. Pop some that way. So you can see you're just building up different layers. Some are lighter, some are darker. Oops. We're sliding a bit today. There we go. But you're getting a real pretty sky in there. And let's just put a little bit heavier up here. Okay. So I like that. It's very soft and gentle, but you can definitely see the outline of some clouds from that. You can even bring in a different color if you want to use, say, some tubble glass with it and get a, a little bit of uh, depth going with different shades of distress ink. It's totally your call. So the next thing I've done is I've gone ahead and cut a couple of these uh, apple blossoms. And I've left one completely full. I've taken one and trimmed off little bits, which I'm going to use also. And then I've taken a little bit off of another one here. So we can arrange these. I've got some mounting foam here. I'm going to go ahead and peel this back. Oop, get a hold of that. There we go. On my frame. We can actually just seat this down so it's exactly where we want it on the top. The flower is going to show right in that little uh, scalloped area on the top. And then we can seat our flowers so that they're popping out right where we want them. So I like just having a little bit of an arrangement going. They overlap slightly. They sort of lean forward. There's all sorts of different shapes. We can put one down here. There. And just catch the edge with this last little guy underneath that. So we have a nice little arrangement going from there. Then once you have them exactly where you want them, take and put a tiny glue dot behind the larger of the flowers to hold them into place. I'm going to pop one back here. There we go. You can pop one right underneath there to hold that one. Just little piece there you can use like that. In fact, let's put that one right under that one too. There we go. Really like that. And if you have any extra bit sticking down underneath your frame, I have a tiny little stem right here. Just nip that away. It won't show. I'm going to bring in the base that I've created. Since I've used some black ink on this, I thought I'll have a nice little black border just to frame it. And we'll just use some Cosmic Shimmer Glue on it. And I've also brought that same um, sky blue color back in with my mat. There we go. How nice and easy is that? And I just think that's as lovely as a summer day. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Look for our Creative Expressions Facebook page and like us on there.